Breaking Hillary losing her mind after hackers discover millions in fraud and bribes. Trump is draining the swamp by Frank Lee for FreedomDaily.com. Former First Lady Hillary Clinton might be scrambling after she learned what just happened. Anyone else would be considered a flight risk if they were in the same situation that she is. A hacker broke into some Clinton Foundation databases and uncovered some disturbing evidence that leads to a possible revelation of the alleged Clinton crime syndicate. The information obtained could have her face prosecution, but since the evidence was hacked, then it may not be admissible in court. That's for a judge to decide. No matter how they found it, the fact remains, and that should be how it works. The information was gathered by a hacker known as Guccifer 2.0. The hacker found their way into a Clinton Foundation database, and what they've uncovered could be the key to the battle against supposed Clinton corruption. If the information is useful, then Guccifer 2.0 may not have unraveled a way for us to travel further down the rabbit hole than ever before. No matter what you see next, keep an open mind as you pursue the hacked information. It may be deleted one day, so view at your own risk and come to your own conclusion on what you see. All these uh, banks uh, donating to her. Reported more on the hack and leak documents. Let's read on. We've been waiting, uh, awaiting the highly anticipated WikiLeaks announcement uh, for about a week now. But we ha know that Julian Assange delayed the release of the supposed bombshell files on Hillary Clinton. Apparently, that's too long for another hacker to wait. Infamous hacker named uh, Guccifer 2.0 hacked his way into Clinton Foundation databases and uncovered some of the most damning evidence to date of the Clinton corruption. Here's his message below, and he got impatient uh, and did some uh, digging himself. Many of you have been waiting for this. Uh, some even asked me to do it. So this is the moment I hacked the Clinton Foundation server and downloaded hundreds of thousands of docs and donor databases. When Barack Obama demanded that Congress approves more bailouts in 2009 to uh, 2011, it seems the big banks through the Clinton Foundation offered kickbacks to Democratic politicians, including Crooked Hillary, to make sure their bailout was approved. Some uh, Crooked Hillary, also, somehow uh, Crooked Hillary also aided the big banks to bribe Democrat politicians, Guccifer wrote. Democrats funneled TARP funds back to their PACs. That's taxpayer bailout money that went right to the pockets of Democrat PACs. Our money went right to the Democrats and their shady back-handed back-alley deals with the big banks. How are these people still running this country? Hillary Clinton and her staff don't even bother about the information security. It was just a matter of time to gain access to the Clinton Foundation server. It looks like big banks and corporations agreed to donate to the Democrats a certain percentage of the allocated TARP funds. It looks like Guccifer 2.0 uncovered one of the most corrupt money funneling scams in political history. If these documents are valid and someone speaks out, then it could be over for the Clinton family. A professional will likely browse the content and decide if justice will be held at the highest court of the law or if the information is not usable because of the way it was attained. If there's one thing I know, it's that Americans want answers, that they want the uh, truth. They want to know if all the accusations are true and to what extent. 
Americans deserve to have the truth. If taxpayer funds were being funneled into Clinton PACs, then do taxpayers get a return on that? No, right? Will people get their illegally funneled money back in their wallet somehow? No. What can be done to give the taxpayers hope that their money won't be funneled into PACs? Not much. Americans want a transparent government that works for them. Yeah, well, that, that died a long time ago and puts their tax money to the most productive use possible. If our money, uh, it's our money, uh, we work for it, we pay it, we demand that our elected government does a better job spending our money. What do you think it's like to be Bill, Hillary, and Chelsea right now? Are they nervous? Do you think that they have an escape plan and their lawyers working overtime to create a defense that will protect them in court? Uh, will a member of the Clinton family wear handcuffs? How much of the uh, swamp is left to drain? Well, Hillary did uh, transfer, uh, I think, $1.8 billion, billion dollars to Qatar. So uh, she has a backup plan. But this is what these mean. In other words, they, do, they donate, let's say, Bank of America here, $17,000, but they got TARP funds, taxpayer money, actually. Um, I don't even know how to read that number. It's like, what is that, $15 trillion or $15 uh, billion? You know, I mean, the numbers are just so exorbitant, you know, gets me dizzy. So in other words, the, this line here was funneled into the Clinton uh, Foundation. And this is what they got in order to, you see what I'm saying? What is that? Unbelievable, unbelievable. They only had to give two and a half thousand to get this much money. Bank of America, 10,000 donation. The TARP funds are here. This is what they got. Like, you know, she was giving so much money away for peanuts donated to her foundation. Like this, what a sellout here. Look at these numbers here that, that these are the taxpayer money that these banks got. Wow. Yeah, I'd like to give uh, $2,000 and get this amount, whatever it may be, uh, three uh, uh, trillion or something, or billion. I have no idea. I'm dizzy. It's it's unbelievable. It, you know, it it is, but uh, I don't think she's nervous if uh, if there's a chance that this information, you think they that they wouldn't know that she did this? Uh, the corruption is run so deep, uh, but I think Trump is going to get to the bottom of this somehow, you know, and if she doesn't go for that, she's going to go for other things. So meanwhile, it all boils down to the same thing. But I think, you know, that's why Trump put in that executive order where he's saying to freeze their assets, you see, but again, Let's say you froze these assets. How is he going? Oh, and I think the asset freeze uh, in the executive order, uh, it's not limited to the United States. I think it is uh, anywhere. So in other words, those funds that she transferred to Qatar, I think Trump's uh, way ahead of them. Yeah, I think he can grab a hold of the assets. You know what I'd like also to see? I'd like to see uh george soros uh go down for this you know what i'm saying freeze his assets because that 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 uh you know you know how many uh people would cheer for that i mean he's a bigger fish than even hillary and obama you see the head honcho is soros but uh again the minions uh the the, the like obama and uh, hillary they're going down yeah yeah I, I think uh, that Trump is way ahead of uh, of them. And I think they were shaking, not with this Guccifer hack. Once that executive order was put in action, uh, where they can, they can uh, freeze assets even in other countries, 
Uh, I think that's where Hillary knows uh, her goose is cooked. And Obama knows it too. And uh, I hope the next target is Soros. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.